Hello, how are we doing? Welcome to my February wrap up and a March setup for my reading journal. Yay! Okay, so, um, you know, February was not the best month reading wise for me. Uh, I was trying to get into the groove of college and. You know, reading just wasn't very much so a priority when school was kind of breathing down my throat. So I only ended up reading three books. They were all physical. And in total, I finished out with 642 pages in a average rating of four stars. So I mean, it was a short reading month, but it was a good one. You feel? I feel. So the first book I read this month was The Devil Finds Work by James Baldwin. It was a short nonfiction about different um, American cinema, some French cinema, and just what that has to do with race and kind of critical consciousness. And it was a lot of new things that I learned, so that was really cool. Um, then I did another nonfiction. This is Proclege's Deal with the Devil and Other Reasons to Riot. Wow, a, every black female I think should read that. And then Tweet Cute by Emma Lord was just kind of, I was bored. It's $5 in Barnes and Noble. It's about two people fighting over grilled cheeses on Twitter. Honestly, yeah. Proclege and James Baldwin both get five stars from me, and Tweet Cute gets two and a half stars because honestly, I kept forgetting that I was reading it, and um, you know, that's not really what you want out of a book, lol. So now it's March, which means that I have to do a new layout, and this month I chose to do a Frank Ocean themed layout. Uh, he's one of my favorite singers, so I thought this would be fun. I think unwittingly I've kind of made it a theme in my journal that the layouts are non-book related, but they're still, you know, my favorite things. So like Back to the Future and Gorillas and now Frank Ocean. So I think I'm just going to keep going with that as I continue in this journal. Each of the layouts for the month aren't going to be book related. They're going to be, I guess, pop culture or whatever. I don't know. I really like this, how I'm doing it. So I'm going to run with it. One thing I've learned thus far in my uh, now month and a half at school is that I can't read like I used to. Um, I honestly anticipated when I went into February that I was going to be able to keep reading, you know, seven books a month and not have a problem with it, and I barely got through three uh, in February, and that was really disappointing to me, but I realized that that's just not how life's going to keep rolling, you know? School's going to be a priority, and obviously I'm going to go and hang out with friends or whatever, so... Um, you know, it's sad times, but um, I think that it also gives me some freedom to kind of pick uh, more books in particular that I want to read instead of just reading just to read. I think that's kind of what I fell into also. I think BookTube kind of does that to you. It makes you want to keep reading crazy amounts of books just to say that you did it. At least in my case, that's how I started to feel. And so now I think I'm just going to be a bit more picky with what I read, get the most out of it instead of hitting a quota for numbers. Um, thank you Goodreads Challenge for making me kind of crazy. So I'm trying something crazy this month, something that I did not really want to do to myself, but hmm, here we are. I'm going to try to do a TBR for this month. Usually I don't like doing that because I hate when I don't get to books and that I feel defeated when it's a goal that I set for myself. You know, I just, I don't know, it's, it felt like a lot of unnecessary pressure, but I'm going to try it out with a small amount of books and, you know, see where that takes me. So I freehanded my decorations this month because I don't know how to work a printer. So, you know, Chanel, the headband, and then pyramids, my favorite song. You know how it goes. I'm creative, okay? So my TBR for this month, are you be ready? We've got Dune by Frank Herbert. I'm going to finish it. Yes. And then we've got Love is a Revolution by Renee Watson, one of my 2021 anticipated releases. I'm so excited. Playing in the Dark by Toni Morrison. Um, some nonfiction, and then I'm gonna finish Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I'm actually very excited because I started it and I'm trying to finish it up. Um, not usually into fantasy, but I actually am enjoying this one. So you guys got me with this one. I thought that this was gonna be a book too popular book that I was gonna be not like other girls and not like, but no, yeah, I like it. And I'm actually pretty excited to keep going, keep reading, and be ready for that Netflix show. So yes.
I think right now I'm going to do a projection of the books that I think I'm going to like the most at the end of this month. I think I'm going to really enjoy reading Playing in the Dark by Toni Morrison because I actually am starting to like nonfiction more and more. Um, and I love Toni Morrison and I think she has wonderful things to say. And t Playing in the Dark is about whiteness and literature. And uh, wow, you could say a lot about that. Um, I think I'm also going to enjoy Love is a Revolution. Um, I talked about this in my 2021 anticipated releases video, but I just love that it's a black girl at the helm of a romance. Um, it's what I love to see. It's what I desire to read. And now I've got my grubby little paws on it, so I win. And with that, I close out this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, yeah, more to come. I know I went AWOL for a little bit, but you know, it'd be like that sometimes. So happy reading, happy March. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.